What's up everyone? I hope you're doing well. Come for the drones, stay for the startup. As I mentioned in my previous video, I'm working on my startup idea on consumer drones and like drone components. But before talking about it, I wanted to give a basic idea about like startups, especially like hardware startups, the market scenario in drone sector, like what other drone companies in India are working on and how would we differentiate ourselves from these uh, drone companies. This would be sort of the agenda for the video today. Let's get started. Unlike other startups like SaaS, which is software as a service, edtech, fintech, retail, e-commerce, hardware startups are quite difficult to execute. Don't get me wrong, even other startups have a hard time making profit. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the execution of a prototype or a product. That's way harder in hardware startups because for software, the required resources are pretty much less, right? You need a computer, you need the right skills with people, you need to put a team and pretty much it. And yeah, of course you would need like internet. But for hardware startups, you need a lot more than that. You need access to manufacturers. If you have like a very complex systems, it's way difficult to find right manufacturers even then. Personally, it has taken me months to get manufacturers to accept the design because they don't have the capability to produce such designs. Hardware startups require like a combination of, you know, electronics, mechanical, programming, like computer science, and in some cases like chemistry, depending on like, you know, uh, in cases of battery manufacturing, right? Like you need material science and so on. So the current scenario in the drone market is that uh, there are at least 200 plus registered startups in India alone. But majority of them is DAS startups, which is like SaaS. So you pretty much get it, like drone as a service. So what they do basically is in enterprise solutions or like commercial applications in inspection, mapping, survey, construction, agriculture, and so on based on different size of drones like you know nano micro small medium large based on the payload or the weight of the drone itself so prototyping a drone requires a lot of manufacturing especially from like sectors like pcbs uh, and assembly process injection molding motor manufacturing batteries and so on to some extent 3d printers have solved the injection molding part you know, uh, it you'll be able to like uh, prototype much faster, and in some cases the PCBs, if it's like a simple design, which is like on a two-layer PCBs, you can actually buy the components and solder yourself if you know how to solder. Uh, apart from that, if it's like above four layers, in my case, it's like six-layer and a ten-layer PCBs, it's too complicated, especially with features like uh, blind vias and buried vias there are like literally 10 to 20 maybe like 15 companies who have rejected because they don't have the capability to produce those pcbs since many of these drone startups are serving commercial applications they don't actually have manufacturing requirements since it, they have it in less quantities. So they prefer assembling these drones rather than manufacturing drones as they claim to be. These are, there are like various reasons why they don't, they don't manufacture. One being like lack of skills to develop components, uh, lack of funding. Uh, in some cases, they just want to like get into hype like how it was Web3, crypto, and now AI. They just want to jump into the drone hype. And in some cases, some com uh, companies want to get into the market, like serve the sector rather than, you know, like developing and taking time to produce those drones. That's where we want to differentiate ourselves from the crowd, from this like whole noise. Since day one, I wanted to build everything from scratch, like, you know, from PCB level, um, of course, like not on the chipset or ICs because that's a semiconductor industry that's, a whole different thing and it's not something done can be done by a startup like that requires 
billions if not trillions of dollars to be poured and from the government side and also like a lot of resources equipments and so on so let's not get into the designing of the chip or like manufacturing the chip i'm talking about the pcb level the next step is like you know the pcb components uh, the pcb manufacturing designing and uh, for the subsystems like you know the flight controllers sensor systems motor batteries communication systems so on like in general the entire drone has to be made in india that's the whole goal that's like the whole vision of the company this would require like huge amount of investments of course especially from vcs or investors which is where the problem is like you have to convince vcs or investors and you just cannot do it by pitching an idea saying like i have an idea to build a whole drone in India. You need to show or like prove that there is a prototype and you need to show them that there is indeed a huge market because basically they are investing in your company to multiply. Like if they invested X amount, they want to multiply in like 2X, 3X and so on. That's, that's exactly what I'm working on right now. Like I'm talking to investors, but that's again, there is another problem here. There's also licensing. You need to sign NDAs with a lot of these chipset companies, like you know, encoders, uh, GPS chipsets, communication systems, etc. And you need to show them what would be our like mass production requirements. Basically, they want to know how many are we going to purchase per month or like per year. They want to sell like in thousands, like ten thousands. They just don't want someone to like buy 100 components and steal their information that's because like when you ask for access to those chipsets you're basically getting the schematics and the design of those chipsets that's something they don't want to mess with especially with startups you know that's where uh, the problem is the difficulty for a startup is in procuring and getting approved to use those chipsets rather than developing the entire drone which requires like huge funding and you know the difficulty of licensing and things like that for now i'm focusing on individual subsystems of drones so that these companies like the indian drone companies who require drone components can use it like for example the flight controller which i'm working on currently is sort of like needed in every drone if not all uh, but most of them are actually imported from china so it's, there's like this uh, industrial standard for hardware of flight controllers, which is PIXOC, is being manufactured by Chinese companies like Holybro, CUAV, and so on. Uh, they have like products like PIXOC 6, which is the sixth generation, the latest one, and the older generation like PIXOC 5. They are widely being used in our Indian drone companies. Like if you see from like navigation, mapping even some agriculture drones they use these flight controllers so and also at the same time this same flight controller is also being used by hobbyists to like you know just build drones for fun and fly or if it's like a student developing a drone for a project or in academia in general so the plan for now is if i can come up with a made in india flight controller which is like manufactured here in india for indian companies to begin with then I think that would be a better start. Like this would be the first ever flight controller actually manufactured in India at this scale. And also there is like so many other features this specific flight controller has that no other drone flight controller in India if being produced has. Like most of them are actually developed on STM32 chip. This is totally different microcontroller so we'll get into the technicalities in the further videos maybe this is not the right time uh, the plan then is to like move on to other subsystems i have spent at least like six lakhs from my own pocket of course uh, for manufacturing five just five flight controllers and 15 carrier boards for now for some reason, five carrier boards was like getting more expensive to manufacture than like 15. Like I have no clue why the cost was like that variation, but I paid uh, extra for like, you know, the components of the 10 extra boards 
and had like paid for them to manufacture 15 boards. I should be pretty much getting that in a couple of weeks. And once we get it, like I'll be testing it on my drone, like the one I have. And I also have some of my friends who are into drones would also were interested in like testing it out on their drones. Um, probably once we test it, uh, depending on the results, I, I, I don't care like what the result is, whether it's pass or fail, I would like post a video on what this uh situation it's like whether it passed or failed or if there's like any modification needs to be done um i hope like carrier board is not to be modified much because i'm manufacturing for 15 units hopefully uh it's okay let's hope fingers crossed um the plan is to like once we test it um if everything's good it'll probably go into a uh, pre-order stage on our website I'll like share the links to it. Um, and there's also in the pipeline, we have uh, the other sensor board, which I've already designed. And uh, there are like few changes to be done in the naming conventions, but the rest of them are pretty much ready. And they are like ready to be sent to manufacturers pretty soon. And uh, there are like other units, like, you know, other products like GPS units and uh, Time of flight sensors and so many different sensors which I'm working on is also in the pipeline. All right, if you're watching this up until now, thank you so much. Uh, I have a Google survey which has like simple questions on uh, nano camera drone for consumers. So if you are interested in uh, getting a camera drone to fly for your uh, uh, events or like for fun just taking f photos and videos uh, please do fill this form i need to understand like what you as a user would think and if there are like suggestions if you have used like different drones like chinese brands basically uh, i need to know what are your needs are in a typical made in india drone so it would be a huge request from my side so please take time to fill in and let me know in the comments if you have like suggestions or if you have like any feedback that would be really appreciated in the end i want to say this prototyping is one thing but mass producing that product is a whole another level in hardware startups even if like one component in a pcb is unavailable or gets stuck in like you know logistics or clearance or there's like a manufacturing issues, the whole production line is going to be stopped. Like I come from manufacturing background, so I understand this whole thing. So this is going to be more complicated for mass producing, even if we get a prototype done. So this is something really, really cannot be controlled. So I hope like everything goes well. As always, thanks a lot for listening. I really appreciate it. See you in the next video. Until then, have a wonderful week.